The web, and with it the internet, are entering a new era known as Web3. So first, a little history lesson. Web1, which we now think of as the dot-com era, gave us this new and revolutionary way to consume and share information digitally. Static and primitive, uh, as it was, at least by today's standards, this so-called read web nevertheless democratized access to information online, at least for those of us lucky enough to have an internet connection. Web 2, or the read-write web, built on the early success of Web 1. Now in Web 2, the web became not just a medium for the presentation or consumption of information, but it became a powerful tool for communication and for collaboration online. Web 2, democratized publishing for all internet users, ushering in this era of user-generated content. To be sure, Web2 has transformed many industries and, and changed our world in broadly positive and some negative ways. Uh, it's changed media and how we interact with retail. But the data and the value, this new asset class that users generate online, was basically captured by centralized intermediaries, including financial services firms, but also increasingly these digital conglomerates these new platforms who became gatekeepers for this digital economy. They enacted tolls, they limited innovation. They really prevented the web from reaching its full potential, perhaps until now. Enter Web3, the read, write, own web, a decentralized internet that enables individuals to move, store, and manage assets like money, like securities, property, like art, data, even their identities in a private, secure, and digital way. Web3 has the potential to make the web more fair, more private, more resilient, and more inclusive. Enabled by blockchains, it can empower individuals, entrepreneurs, creators, enterprises, and other institutions with a powerful new tool set that will potentially remake industries and business models, as well as transform money and markets crystallize digital property rights for internet users, and usher in new kinds of assets and organizations that will be unleashed on the economy. As with prior eras of the internet, Web3 will become an integral technology for business. And the companies who harness this technology, who understand its potential and act, will not only survive, but thrive in this next era of digital disruption.